Okay, so first of all, I'll insert a pivot table. I'll put it in the existing worksheet and OK. Then I'll put in the department and the country and the number of sales. And the default layout for a pivot table is compact, but we can change this if we go up to the design tab and go to report layout and change it from compact to tabular. Then we can also change it to repeat all item labels. Then we can go to subtotals and select do not show subtotals. And we can also change it so the grand totals are off for rows and columns. Then in addition to this, we can go to the pivot table analyze tab and go to options. Then we can go to the display tab and deselect the checkbox for show expand slash collapse buttons. And we can also go to the data tab and tick the checkbox for refresh data when opening the file and OK. And now we have the pivot table laid out the way that we want it. Now you might make pivot tables regularly and want for them all to be laid out in the same way, but you don't want to have to change all of the settings every single time. In order to do this, we'll go to the File tab and then go to Options and then go to Data. And at the top here, we have Make Changes to the Default Layout of Pivot Tables then we can click Edit Default Layout. Now, if you already have a pivot table that you have made, you can click somewhere inside the pivot table and then import the layout. And this changes all of the options below. And you can also just select the options that you want from the drop-down list. So now my options match my pivot table. Do not show the subtotals. Grand totals are off for rows and columns. We're showing the report in a tabular form and we are repeating all of the item labels. Then we also have the pivot table options here, which we can change if we want. Because I imported the layout from my pivot table in the display tab, the box for show expand slash collapse buttons is already deselected. And in the data tab, the box for refresh data when opening the file is already ticked. And then we'll go OK and OK again and OK again. And now the default layout has been changed. So now if I insert another pivot table, I will put it just here and this time I will put in the country and then the department and put in the units and we can see that it's laid out in the same way as the first pivot table and this will work in all of your Excel spreadsheets. Okay, so in this video I have shown you how to change the default layout of a pivot table in Excel and that is everything.